Hello second graders! This video will introduce you to the topics you'll be learning about this week. So in ELA or reading, you'll be learning about the life cycle of the butterfly. And in math, we'll continue with measurement, but we will be comparing lengths of different objects. So let's start with the life cycle of a butterfly. Here are some photographs from the different stages of a butterfly's life cycle. What do you notice from these pictures? What do you already know about the life cycle of a butterfly? Do you know what any of these stages are called? So in the previous slide, you already may have thought about some things that you know about the life cycle of a butterfly. But now, what questions do you have? What do you wonder about the life cycle of a butterfly? To get your thinking started, you could ask yourself, I wonder what? I wonder why? I wonder how? I wonder when? And later on this week, you can reflect on all that you've learned about the life cycle of a butterfly. So last week in math, you began with measurement. You're going to be doing some more measuring this week. So let's review some measuring tools and units. You can use tools to help you measure. Measuring tools can tell you the length or how long an object is. A measuring tool may tell you the measurement in centimeters, inches, feet, or meters. So sometimes you might need to compare lengths. When the length of something is greater than another, we say that it is longer. The red pencil in the photo below is longer than the blue pencil. Now, compare the purple and blue pencils. Which one is longer? Why is it difficult to tell which pencil is longer? To compare lengths accurately, or to find which object is longer or shorter than another, the objects must start at the same place. These two pencils are lined up and start at the same place, so we can easily tell which is longer and which is shorter. The purple and blue pencils in the previous slide weren't lined up, so you couldn't really tell which one was longer than the other. So now, let's practice comparing lengths. Which plant is the tallest or the longest? Plant A, plant B, or plant C? You're right, plant C is the longest. Now, which plant is the shortest? A, B, or C? You're right, B is the shortest. Now, what is the difference between the longest and shortest plant? That's kind of a trick question. To find the difference, we would need to know the exact measurement for plants B and plant C, and then we could find the difference. So based on this slide, we can just tell which plant is the longest, which plant is the shortest, but we can't tell the difference between the plants yet. Now you'll notice that we have the measurements for plants B and plant C. Plant B is 5 inches, while plant C is 12 inches long. So now that we have the measurement of each plant, what is the difference between plant B and plant C? Remember, oftentimes when you're asked to find the difference, you will need to subtract. So 12 for plant C minus 5 equals 7. Plant C is 7 inches taller than plant B. Let's try another one. Here we have two pencils. Pencil A is 5 centimeters long, and pencil B is 8 centimeters long. Which pencil is longer, A or B? If you said B, you're right. 8 centimeters is longer than 5 centimeters. Now, what is the difference in length between the two pencils? When we're finding the difference, we need to subtract the two numbers. So 8 minus 5 is 3. The difference between the pencils is 3 centimeters. Pencil B is 3 centimeters longer, and pencil A is 3 centimeters shorter. 
So when comparing lengths, remember, make sure the objects are lined up or at the same starting point. And if you're asked to find the difference between two objects, you will need to subtract the smaller measurement from the larger measurement. Thanks for watching. Be sure to reach out to your teacher with any questions. For more measurement activities, you can go to the iReady app on Clever. And for more reading on the life cycle of a butterfly, you can check out some of the books on Epic.